I've always been fascinated by volcanoes, but for some reason, whenever I've had the opportunity to visit one, things have never quite gone to plan. We saw the lava from the 968 eruption. It's a pretty big lava field. The volcano's over there, actually, you just can't see it. So when Melissa first suggested this trip through Costa Rica, visiting one or two was high on the agenda. So we're getting to volcano land. You'll be able to see them They're right between that gap there. Our first, Arenal Volcano, had sort of played ball, albeit from a distance and through heavy cloud. That's gorgeous. But today was a chance to see a real monster. Poas Volcano. Crap, look at that. There's some water. And although the early weather signs had been mixed on the way up... The road's on fire. <laughs> it's evaporating extremely fast because it's been raining. Well, it still is raining, but it's also hot. We held out hope that the volcano might push up through the weather systems. Sadly, that hope turned to nope pretty quickly. All my life I've waited to see a volcano, Creo. Volcano, this is an active volcano. Last 206 years ago. Interesting seeing as Iceland's currently just exploding. If you can see anything. These people taking pictures next to the fucking picture of the fucking crater. <laughs> Can't see anything. <laughs> oh, we got there. It was compounded by missing a park tour down into the caldera which we'd paid for. We either missed the guide or the tour had been cancelled altogether because we certainly couldn't find the start point. So do you know how tall this is? It's like 27, 30, 500 feet or something? What? How high is it? I don't know. Oh, okay. So we're very high up, but it's, it's a little bit windy. It's going to be a warm hike. Because I didn't bring any pads for this trip. Because we're in Costa Rica, it's a rainforest, and I don't know why I didn't think, hey, we're going up a fucking volcano. But let's have a quick look and... Oh yeah, the sequence of recent explosive events. So look, you, you can see all the layers of blowing up on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just not a very, I don't know if you can even see, it's just not a very pleasant place to be right now. Oh. Oh. Wet feet, wet legs. Oh, look, my crotch is away. Two pairs of shorts. I've got one, two, three, four, four tops on, two jackets. <laughs> and I'm still cold. Yeah, my bottom's completely soaked. Well, pause. I think we can go down this way to that same place. Do a visitor, in case of volcanic activity, keep calm. Evacuate quickly on the trails in Laguna followed parking. If you have trouble, request for help. In case of eruptions, be careful of falling rocks. Despite the rain, there was a surprising number of tourists there, but nobody really seemed to want to hike about too much, which wasn't that much of a surprise, neither did we. However, having paid for entry and also having to wait until at least four o'clock to check in at our next rental stop, we decided to tough it out and see whatever we could. I don't think you see me because it's wet. Look, the caldera number two, and there's still nothing you can see. Absolutely. 
Absolutely nothing. We're on top of the volcano. It's just down there. It's down there. We're not getting blown up with hope because it's down there. Take this off for a second. Oh, no, you can't see anything. Hang on a second. So we're done. Uh, we're not going to see any volcanic craters today because it's, well, it looks pissing down sideways still. Uh, we're both soaked through to the bone. You? Yes. Yes, soaked through to the bone. But at least we've got a, a three mile walk in as well to keep the trend of walking everywhere. And my shoes are a bit cleaner than they were. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to get do the whole surfing, getting changed in the car thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the other end. Finishing the hike, we were soaked through to the bone. So we cranked the car's heater to max and hightailed it down the volcano on the opposite side to the way we'd come onto the park. We were now facing south in a region that grows plenty of coffee, San Juan Norte, and it overlooks San Jose, Costa Rica's capital city. Now there's something I should mention about the place that Melissa had found. Here's me to explain. So after quite a lot of uh, turning around, we finally found the place we're staying. Uh, there's construction going on. And we're only about 12 kilometers, uh, uh, just, just over wait, seven miles or so away from the um, uh, park uh, where it was pissing down sideways. And it's lovely and sunny here, as, as you can see. But uh, wait to get outside. That's why I'm talking to you in here, because you will not be able to understand a word I'm saying as soon as we get outside. Have a look. It's pretty amazing. We're just above the clouds. We're just above the clouds now, and up there, that's the volcano. But it's like a gale force hurricane hit. This, but it's awesome little tower. Okay, fuck a duck. That was it's fucking wild. Let's have to check this place out. It's kind of cool, it's brand new. By the look of things. Um, I think a great cell phone coverage, but you do here. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> so let's have. My, I hope you're good at sleeping in a hurricane, hon. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Got a little deck up here. But well, literally a little deck. Well, that's an unshabby view. Look, the whole valley there. And probably a volcano on the other yeah, side. Yeah, Yeah, it's moving fast. Yeah, I think that's what I was going to say. Yep. So I didn't actually know this, but uh, that, uh, we have to say this before I go outside because it's just too noisy. Uh, that, that city down there, that's actually San Jose, which is the main capital city of uh, Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's a hurricane. Oh, I can feel it in the floor now. Yeah. This whole building's on pillar and post, just like it is back in California, but let's, let's see if we get better for you. Oh, the moon's out. Day, the 
past three. Yeah, it's just quarter past three. This thing's gonna blow off and throw down the <laughs> tumbleweed, the whole house. <laughs> oh, let's have a beer. Look, it's a perfect place I found for it. The view from the loft was breathtaking, and despite the wind, we had a very relaxing evening watching the sun go down from the hot tub. And it needed to be, because tomorrow was a big day. The single biggest leg of our entire journey, from the foothills of Poas Volcano, about as far west as it's possible to go, Samara Beach. Oh, here's the mountains. We're on our way off to the extremely windy house and now we're going to see parrots or birds. Scarlet macaws. Scarlet macaws, sorry. And we just paid our first auto toll and we're now going to be stuck behind this truck because we're going far, we're making far too much rapid progress. But I don't mind, look how gorgeous it is. Oh and the truck just pulled off. Excellent. Yeah, the casual iguana just sitting in the car park, chilling. Now we're going to see some birds, apparently. And it's much hotter than where we was. It's probably in the 90s here. So I'm going to have to sunblock up. I'm already coated in bug spray. Fight the mozzies. I keep this up all day, bro. Thanks for watching, and of course, any likes and shares are really appreciated. But if you like this series, make sure you subscribe for more. Because if you hadn't guessed, this adventure is drawing to a close, but it's just the beginning of our travels, and subscribing will make sure that you don't miss any of them. Yeah.